Hey guys, Enter the Stars. I wanted to finish up the Lyris episodes from the TV series Sanctuary. Now, the clips that you're going to see next are from 2011. So we're going to cover these clips. Then we're going to get into some more headlines, as well as the whole Superman comic book issue going on. I want to show you guys a CNN video uh, and look at the ratings on that and see what the public thinks about Superman and his change and his drapes. Let's put it that way. But let's get into this first. This is again from the TV series Sanctuary about abnormals who basically carry different bloodlines and they basically are in hiding and this woman the scientist helps them out by giving them cover and sanctuary well what ends up happening is they are discovered these abnormals are discovered by the world they're put in this quarantine situation and they decide that they're going to infect the entire world with the blue bl-o-o-d as you can see here in this canister before i play this clip so you can get the backdrop for what you're looking at this guy's in the quarantine camp and he's got the vial and he anticipates on releasing this to the world and which they believe will make chaos ensue and all the abnormals will take over the world but probably end up destroying all themselves as well with all their superpowers. So this gives us a snapshot into the mind of where all of this is headed. Let's go ahead and play this. A new age is coming. And it will be the humans who serve us when all is said and done. So that's obviously Bigfoot there. And all of these abnormals are pretty much uh, well-known characters throughout history in the series. And he's telling Bigfoot that we are going to make the humans our slaves. This is the future. We will be their gods. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? We will be their gods. Uh, I can imagine who they are and who we are, right? Now, this is an interesting component to this episode. This is all included in the same episode, which is interesting because what you have here are two seemingly separate aspects. You have a Lyris and you have what you're going to hear next, which is what appears to me to be 5G Wiz technology. Now, the reason why I say that is because this guy standing right here is supposed to be Nikola Tesla, but he's been turned into a vampire by this serum that he was given to give him superpowers and make him live a very long time. Listen to the dialogue and tell me if what you're hearing here isn't about 5G whiz. Should give us a better idea of what they're using to keep everyone inside. Some red listers I know ripped us off a barricade outside the homeland. This thing looks like it transfers a buttload of energy, huh? Yeah. So what this is, is it's one component that goes on this tower that is creates an electronic fence to keep people inside. But it can also be used as a weapon. Listen. Yes, but no visible output points. For multi-spectrum containment. Sound, magnetics, pure energy, anything you want. You get enough of these, you've got the ultimate invisible dog fence. There's like hundreds of these things encircling the Homeland District. Huh, it works. Rotating frequencies for each node. 50 million gigawatts of pure electricity through these things, making them talk to each other. Could these be turned into a giant electrified web? Yes. No incursion, no riots, one switch, hundreds of bodies. Now, it's interesting that the whole 5G Wiz and beyond dovetailed in with um, the whole lockdown. Remember that? Remember that was signed into law during the lockdowns? And I told you the importance of that because it's synonymous with it. Locking down is synonymous. Now, it might not be a physical uh, barrier, but it's an electronic barrier because what it does is it enables uh, you know, data and, and intelligence to be done real time. So they can do face recognition in real time. So if you have a parking ticket and they're looking for you to give you that parking ticket, they can now find you. This isn't just about violent criminals. This is about all of us and how far they're willing to go to enslave us. Okay, now you can clearly see the 5G whiz at the top of the tower. So this is what they were really getting at here, in my opinion. for this 
mouths to feed. Yeah, I wanted to test the absorbency of some paper towels. I you add a... So, obviously, the paper towel shortage, the toilet paper shortage, synonymous with this whole thing about plague. Now, what is this about? What is this paper towel and toilet paper thing really about? Well, when we break down the symbolism behind it, we think about the esoteric meanings of what that could mean. We'll understand that toilet paper is made from tree pulp, isn't it? And so it sacrifices what it is. It's the killing of the tree for something that the enemy is fascinated with and worships, which is what you use to wipe with, right? And where it goes. It's literally the snake eating its tail on a spiritual level. You kill a tree, which is synonymous with the human, and it goes into the tail of the snake. Now, that's the closest that I could get to finding the deepest, darkest roots of what this whole toilet paper shortage is about. But here they mention it again in the form of a paper towel, of course. Let's keep listening. You add a Susanoff genome binder, you have something very, very potent. So this is Tesla explaining what the serum actually does, the blue serum. It actually changes the DNA. I wonder he won't go back to Hollow Earth. That's recessive DNA derived from stores of source blood in Praxis. This vial contains a replicating virus that, if released on a mass scale, would genetically alter every human being on Earth. But this could revive every hyperspecies that ever lived. Vampires, shapeshifters, even haps. Bringing their latent abnormal DNA to the surface. This would set human civilization back 2,000 years. If Caleb succeeds in spreading this virus, there won't be a free human left on Earth. Caleb is planning a new age of the deadliest races in history. Skew is intent on genocide. So there you heard it, a very detailed explanation of what the blue serum does. It actually changes the DNA, latent parts of the human uh, form that enhances certain abilities. And what I believe that's code for is opening you up for demonic possession, which the demons have a lot more intelligence and a lot more knowledge than we do and probably could unlock certain powers or forms of power. This is why they had superhuman powers when they would uh, demonically possess people down throughout history. So, very interesting, isn't it? Now, let's switch gears a little bit here. And we're pretty much done with Sanctuary. I just wanted to look at the episodes that were dealing with, um, you know, this whole Lyris aspect. And I'm saying it differently, obviously, for, for a good reason. Let's get into Don Lemon and the CNN video that they put up about him talking about the new Superman and his son and what they're up to. Okay. And look at the ratings on this down 8.3 thousand and up 2000. Now, a lot of comic people are upset about this and probably for good reason, because Maybe this represents a very small portion of their community. They don't want the legacy of Superman to change with where the agenda is headed. And we'll leave it at that. But a lot of people are upset about this. You can go on here on YouTube and there's a lot of reaction videos to this. And all I can say is the people here have given their opinion about what they think about this. Now, I'm shocked that uh, CNN has not removed the comments, but there are 6,916 comments. Now, at a certain point, I understand that we won't be able to trust what we see on the thumbs up and thumbs down. That can be skewed electronically, you know, at their will. But for now, this gives you a really good idea of how well or how poorly a video is received. Now, what do we have next? Well, uh, as we mentioned in the show today, if it's Friday, I'm pre-recording this. I don't know if I'm going to upload this uh, Friday or Saturday. Probably we'll do a Saturday show. So we talked yesterday on yesterday's live show about that the un-Pokemon stickered workers would now have to be paying for their own VidCo19 testing. And that right now, as it sits, these tests can cost up to $500 a month if you do not have insurance. Let me see what these comments say. Let me see if there's anything we can 
read here. Oh, this person says, we'll gladly get uh, tests once a week as long as the Pokemon sticker do the same. All right. Interesting. We can't read what they said next because that's not approved YouTube, right? But basically, um, what we ha have is a situation where they can set the price of testing wherever they want to influence our behavior. So right now, $500 a month, that's a lot of money. And most people will be like, you know what? No, that's messed up. So it's as if they're being forced to get the Pokemon sticker. But some people will go along with it and pay the 500 bucks a month. But as soon as things start hitting the wallet and you're paying for things that other people aren't having to pay for, that's when things start to get dicey. Now, as it sits, if you have insurance, they'll pay for this, but I don't anticipate that lasting much longer. They'll simply justify not covering tests by saying that there is a Pokemon sticker available and you could get it so that we don't have to pay for your testing. So this is upsetting to me because I knew this, that this is where this was headed. And many of you were correct in standing your ground against mandatory testing and that's something I didn't quite uh, see. I didn't see, really see that up front. I was like, well, maybe testing's okay, but no, it's not okay because it's still an infringement of your personal life as well as now your pocketbook. So what else do we have here? Well, this guy hit this woman uh, outside of a bar. This is bizarre in Upland on Halloween. I always tell people nothing good happens on these holidays. Nothing good happens after dark, pretty much these days in this world we live in now. Upland police said a man was accost had accosted four women in a bar in on Halloween weekend. He, I think he punched two of them out, according to the video. Let's see here. Let's pull this back up. Here he is. Look at this joker. Man, people are losing their minds. Let's back this up. Now, it looks like a typical altercation. I think the reason why this is getting press is on the heels of the whole Petito thing, right? He's just knocking folks out. I guess this guy thinks he's uh, an MMA fighter or something. I don't know what he was thinking he was getting away with. But here's the problem, okay? This is going to be our world. And once 5G Wiz technology is up to speed, this stuff will be processed in real time. So as soon as he did this in the new 5G Wiz world and beyond... What will happen is, is at that point, this will get sent to an algorithm, which will then detect that a violent act has occurred. And within seconds, this will be dispatched to a police department who's in the area. And in this case, this guy probably deserved it. But what if you're out just walking your dog or something? Or what if you have to pee really bad and there's a tree? And you want to do as the bears do or do as the deer do. <laughs> do, no pun intended. Well, now all of a sudden you're under a microscope. And all of the dystopian films that we've covered over the years where there's cameras everywhere and everything is, is being seen, it will become a reality. It will become a reality. So they like to go with stories like this. You know, these attacks... Because it gives you a false sense of security. Okay. So you're going, oh, okay, that's good that we caught that guy on camera. Otherwise, he would have never got caught doing that. That's what they want you to say. Okay. You're, you, you're getting a false sense of security, but you're building your own prison is where this is all headed. What else do we have here? Thousands of Intel officers refusing the Pokemon sticker. Risk dismissal. Now... I believe this is probably a setup. In other words, now that they're saying the intelligence community is losing intelligence officers, this is national security, right? So it could f soon face dismissal for failing to comply with the mandate, leading some Republican lawmakers to raise concerns about removing employees from agencies critical to national security. And so when something happens which we all know that some of these things happen because they're meant to happen, right? Then they'll simply blame those pesky anti-Pokemon sticker people. It's their fault. They're willing to risk our national security for their own selfish needs and desires. 
That's what this this article is all about. All right, so the airlines are not giving in. You got to ask yourself, what? Why are they being so beholden to this whole mandate thing? Okay, well, it's because they already got a whole buttload of money, didn't they? They got all that money. Remember, they got bailed out by the feds as part of the package, part of the stimulus package. Well, now they got to play ball. Because they got all that money and now they have to enforce this. So what are they going to do? They're going to raise wages and hire a bunch of new people. Now this of course is going to enrage the people that quit because they didn't want to get the Pokemon sticker. They're going to be like, oh, why didn't you give us a raise? Why all of a sudden are you giving a raise? You know, I've been a loyal employee for 10 years. And now all of a sudden you're going to pay more money just because... You want someone to fill my position who has a Pokemon sticker? This is going to create a lot of division. And it's intended to do so, right? So these are the these are the large companies of America. And this is how they act and behave. It has nothing to do with you on a personal level. They don't care about you. They're part of the elite. They will do as they're told by the government, okay? And the first step in the government's grubby little fingers involved in the airline industry was of course blind 11 they did that on purpose because now they can control your movements they can prevent people from traveling cross country and that's when the tsa was really born and we really started enforcing these kinds of rules and this government intrusion into what should be a private business which is the airline industry and that's why they were bailed out with the bailouts you see how this works now? This is the truth about the world we live in. You're told one thing, but there's actually a truth behind it. And that is that oftentimes they can induce people and control people to do what they want by simply doing things like pulling their ability to travel off the table. If you're a person that likes to fly, the chances are you're going to go get a Pokemon sticker because if you can't, if you don't get one, you won't be able to go to Europe or whatever. And a lot of people would just go do that. And this is just one tool in their toolbox to control society, is to control airlines. See? It says here, U.S. Airlines plans to hire tens of thousands. Tens of thousands. So these are all the people that quit. Are you kidding me? This is the first time they're admitting it, but look at the context in which they're admitting it. They're admitting it, as they're going to hire a bunch of new people and raise wages to flip the script to make it sound like a positive. But really, it's a negative. How the heck did they lose tens of thousands of people? Because people don't want to wear a Pokemon sticker. The airlines had avoided mass layoffs in exchange for billions of dollars in grants and loans from the U.S. government, which is what I just said earlier. But carriers like United... American Airlines, Delta Airlines, and Southwest Airlines all cut their employee numbers with early retirement and buyout programs that left them short-staffed as the industry recovery began to take off last spring. What? Why would they do that? That's, that's not why. The U.S. Labor Department reported the number of people employed by airlines fell from 742,000 to 718,000. We're hiring a lot of people. We're bringing them in and getting them prepared for the holiday to make sure our customers get what they need to go. I hope one person, not one person, steps foot in an airport this holiday season. That will send a message. We'll just drive our cars. I'm so sick of these people and all their control. But we know that a new kingdom is coming that will be a fair kingdom where we're not going to be treated unfairly. We're not going to be forced to do things we don't want to do. And our creator will be in complete control. So they're going to hire all these people by the end of the year. Wow. What a trip. Let's go to this next story. What is this here? I don't even know what I have in here. Truckers say Bo Jivin's disastrous sticker mandate could worsen the supply chain crisis. Oh, joy. And that's all we need is more problems with the supply chain. And then they can just blame that on those pesky anti-Pokemon sticker people. 
How can they be so selfish? The White House's sticker mandate will be disastrous for truckers. Trucking associations warn that it could cripple an already strained supply chain. The Pokemon sticker rules will take effect January 4th. Truckers say that Bo Jivin's mandate will be disastrous for the industry. So it would require millions of workers to get the Pokemon sticker or be tested regularly. Understand a lot of these trucking companies are part of corporations, over 100 employees. So they fall under the rule, right? Even though they're not in contact with anybody, they're in their truck by themselves. So this is what's going on. Truck Truckload Carriers Association. You see how bigger isn't always better? Because then the federal government has all this power over these large corporations that, of course, are beholden to them. Wow. So, welcome to more supply chain issues. You know, articles like this are a little bit puzzling. While I disagree, I understand why my sister doesn't have the Pokemon sticker, says this guy. In the spring, after I'd been got the Pokemon sticker, I pleaded with my sister to do the same. Immediately, she said no. A Metro Detroit healthcare worker and mother of four, she understood that the Pokemon stickers were important to saving lives. This one, though, scared her for different reasons. When people talked about fighting off symptoms after getting a Pokemon sticker, it took her back to March 2020 in the hospital room where she resided more than a week fighting for her life. I don't ever want to feel like that again, she told me. Mississippi just passed the grim milestone of 10,000. Okay, so this is more programming of all the people that are dropping out. And they're trying to pretend like they're being sympathetic. But are they really? I don't think so. I don't think so. Nice try. All right. And last but not least, a little bit of hope here. This is AP. 11 states file suit against Bo Jivin's mandate. Let's see what this says. That's a, that's a lot of states. That's kind of surprising. So, attorney generals in 11 states filed suit Friday against Bo Jivin's new requirement at companies more than 100, 100 employees. The suit filed in St. Louis based 8th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals argues that the authority to compel Pokemon stickers rests with the states, not the federal government. It's unconstitutional, unlawful, and unwise, said the court filing. New regulations from OSHA mandate that companies with more than 100 employees require their workers to get the Pokemon sticker. Hmm. And the failure to comply would result in penalties of nearly 14 grand per violation. Missouri has 3,500 private employers who could be covered by the requirement with nearly 1.3 million employees. He said he sued to protect personal freedoms, preserve Missouri businesses, and push back on bureaucratic tyrants who simply want power and control. Now, if you lived in Disneyland world, you would believe that, oh, no problem, we'll just vote these people out if they don't back us. But in the real world, these people won't be voted out. They will continue to push through these particular mandates and play ball for the federal government if the they lose these lawsuits okay it doesn't matter who's in office they've relegated us to a loud minority that's what they've convinced the world that we are a loud minority even though if you really look at the amount of people who got the pokemon sticker the percentage of americans in some total we are actually a majority the only reason why people are doing it is because they're being forced to do it. They're being forced. They're losing out on being American if they don't get it. And a lot of people give in to that pressure. So uh, we will follow this story and see if, uh, you know, they actually win. But it uh, looks like the states of Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, Montana, Nebraska, New Hampshire, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Wyoming. Uh, looks like Iowa uh, also joined the suit. He's the only Democrat, along with several private, nonprofit, and religious employers. Interesting. So, we will see how all that shakes out. Uh, I'm not holding my breath, though, because... 
That's the world we, world we live in, you guys. And prayers go out to the people having to make these hard decisions at this time, facing losing your job. I know there's a lot of you, even on this channel, who've had to face these tough decisions, okay? And uh, I'm praying for all of you because there's nothing worse than having your livelihood threatened, especially those of you who went out and got your degree or you got a certificate or you became a nurse or you became a doctor and you thought that no one could ever take that away from you and now you're being faced with this very moral dilemma i know that god will provide a way out i just know that he will and i encourage you to pray and seek out his guidance and counsel to see what it is he wants you to do in terms of if there's a way to get out of it, maybe the answer is moving. Maybe the answer is going into your savings. I don't know what the answer is, but God will reveal the answer to you if you pray to him about it. Anyway, I love each and every one of you, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Take care and be safe.